Okay, it's uh, late afternoon. We now have the Black Widow Pro Lift Extra Wide, which it doesn't say there. Those are the sides for the lift, which make it four feet wide. We now have it out of the truck. And old Marky G is going to let the lift down. Hopefully it'll come down without crashing it. It's very, he very heavy. Send it down. There it goes. It's actually going down quicker than I thought. It must it's be about heavy. 400 pounds. That's not the Harbor Freight lift, that's for sure. That is for sure. All right, we're going to let this lift down. We got the old truck mobile again after the blowout with a tire range tire, gun range tire with no bullet holes in it. Now we're going to unbox this and see what's up. Hopefully we'll get a test out of this today. All right, more to come. All right, the Eagle has landed. Okay, we've got it mostly unboxed and so far it's pretty impressive. Seems to be very well built and very well reinforced. There's the big pneumatic cylinder. It's got nice, looks like five inch wheels to roll around on. Sides are real nice and thick and heavy. This came with the extended ramp in case you're working on choppers or something. You can put that on to extend the front end. Long front end bikes. More boxes which we haven't even opened yet. It's the uh, wheel chocks. This piece here is the anti-tip over thing. They sent to repair for the pneumatic cylinder, repair seals and grease fittings. That's impressive. That's the rear tire dropout piece, that red piece, all reinforced, like eighth, in, eighth inch steel. It's very heavy. All right, well, we're going to uh, flip this thing over and get it in the upright working position and continue with the assembly. I just wanted to give you a peek in case you're thinking about buying one of these. Where's that piece of paper with the, the instructions? Yeah. This is what it is. That's the actual lift. If you want to pause it, you can read it. 1,500 pound capacity, pro lift, and it's got the side extension tables like the picture on the bottom. And came with that little jack. So that's pretty cool. All right, we're gonna flip this over and continue on, but I wanted to show the underneath of this. I would say I can feel fairly confident putting a 900 pound motorcycle on here without worrying about tipping over. That's very cool. All right. We'll be back as we move along with the process. Just wanted to show you underneath. That's pretty cool. Huh? It's a big uh, pneumatic cylinder. All right. We're after. Okay. It's a little after 5 p.m. We've got the lift assembled. That is the front extension piece, which is huge. You'd have to have a really stretched out long chopper front end to use that. Wheel chalk is installed. Side tables are on. These side tables, you just pull the pins and these sides come right off. Came with this jack, which is very nice. With the uh, different little attachments. For jacking up on the frame if you've got to take your wheel off. And tomorrow, We'll bring a bike in here and do the actual first lift. It came with that uh, non-skid pad, which is very nice. So that's it's about four feet wide. That's very nice. I can do motorcycles on here. My four-wheeler can go up there. My lawn tractor can go up there. And I don't have to worry about it tipping over and killing me. Big tip bar has been put in. And you can actually just lift the back part of this lift up and move it around the shop. I've already done it. So that's everything it came with. So 
tomorrow we'll put the first bike up on it and uh, try it out. And no adult beverages were harmed in the construction of this lift, which is now time what would be considered to be Miller time. So tomorrow will be the first lift. So hang on, I'll update tomorrow. So far I'm really happy. That's a long way from a Harbor Freight lift. I was only fooling myself buying that damn thing. It's almost starting to look like a real repair facility in here, huh? 10,000 pound lift, motorcycle lift. Cool. All right, tomorrow's another day. We'll do the first lift tomorrow.